Alright guys, so today we're going to take a quick look at my absolute favourite guitar that I own. This is my Music Man JP15 John Petrucci signature model. And I was just absolutely over the moon when I got this because it looks just so cool. And one of the things that makes this guitar so cool is not just the way it looks, but it's got some features built into it that you wouldn't commonly find on other electric guitars. So because of all the different sounds you can get out of this one guitar, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to demo all of them in this one video, so I'm going to try my best just to go over everything, go over all the functions, and then try my best to demonstrate all the sounds that I can. So obviously this is a John Petrucci signature model guitar, um, who's a guitarist from the band Dream Theater. So everything on the guitar is built to suit his style of playing. This particular guitar has an African mahogany body, but I think for the newer JP15 models, they've switched the body wood out for something else. I'm not exactly too sure what it is. And it's finished in this really nice teal color, which I think looks super cool. The neck is roasted maple. Um, which looks awesome, but I've heard also provides extra tuning stability when you're traveling and things like that because there's a little bit less moisture in the wood. And feel-wise, I'd say that the neck is just a little bit thicker than like a typical Ibanez neck. So it's a reasonably thin neck, but it's not thin to the point where it feels almost uncomfortable. And the neck's also a bolt-on, so we've got this plate here with five pins in it instead of your regular four, which apparently provides even more tuning stability. And this guitar also comes with these locking tuners, which are super nice. I hadn't actually used locking tuners before I got this guitar but now that I have used them I think I'm gonna get some on every single guitar I buy from now on because they're just so convenient and save you so much time. The bridge is this Music Man design floating trim system so it's way easier to restring than something like a Floyd Rose or some other floating trim system. And the pickups on this guitar because it's a John Petrucci signature model uh, the guitar comes loaded with his signature Damasio Illuminator set. And to be honest with you, I find it hard to record anything without this guitar nowadays because the pickups just sound so clear compared to anything else I use. Even under like a high gain setting, if you've got loads of gain and you play a chord with loads of notes in it, you'll still hear every single note in the chord, which is a super cool benefit of having really nice pickups come with the guitar. And then it also comes with this piezo pickup in the guitar. Uh, which makes it sound a little bit like an acoustic guitar, but I'll explain more about that later on. And then this guitar also has two different outputs on it, and the reason behind that is so you can process the signal from the magnetic pickups and the piezo pickups independently. So for example, you could have the magnetic pickups going out to your guitar amp, and then you could have the piezo pickup going out to a DI or front of house or something like that, so it can be processed separately. All right, so moving on to these controls now, we've got a standard three-way pickup switch um, so all the way down is the bridge pickup in the middle is both and then all the way up is the neck pickup and then moving on from there we've got a standard volume knob and a tone knob like you would have on most electric guitars and then this last one here controls the volume of the piezo pickup okay so here's where it starts to get a little bit confusing with some of the controls on this guitar so this switch up here controls the blend between the magnetic pickups on the guitar and the piezo pickup. So with the switch all the way down, you're only running the magnetic pickups and it works just like a standard electric guitar. And then if we move the switch to the middle position, we're using the magnetic pickups and the piezo system. So it's a blend between both pickup systems. And then if we switch to the very top, we're using just the piezo system. So we're now bypassing the magnetic pickups and there's no sound coming from them. We're just hearing what's from the piezo system. Okay, so just to complicate things, even more with the controls on this guitar. The volume and the tone knob also have secondary functions. This is one of my favorite features about the guitar right here. So if you push in this volume knob, suddenly you get a 10 dB volume boost. And that's just been an absolute game changer for me since I've owned this guitar. So if I'm playing a gig or something and I've got to play a solo, don't need to step on any pedals, don't need to turn the amp up or anything. All I do, press that in and I'm instantly way louder. And then this tone knob here, if I press that in, Whenever I change the middle pickup position, then it's split down to single coils, which is really nice. And I usually just leave it on the single coil mode all the time because all I have to do is switch to the middle pickup position and suddenly I'm split down to single coils. And then finally, if we turn the guitar over, we've got some extra controls built in here. And these are just a few adjustments that you can make to the sound of the pickup. So you can adjust how loud the volume boost is. Uh, you can adjust the mix between the magnetic pickups and the piezo and then you can control the treble and bass EQ of the piezo system. Okay, so I know that was a lot of information about all the controls on this guitar, um, so hopefully I haven't lost you too much there. If you only have a basic understanding of how controls work on a standard electric guitar, then that might have been a little bit confusing for you. But what I'm gonna do now is go through all the different sounds that I can with this guitar, 
and you'll see how everything works and it should make a lot more sense in context. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is run the piezo signal just through a DI so you can hear it completely clean without any sort of amp tone on it. Um, and then we're gonna blend it in with the magnetic pickup so you can hear what they sound like blended together.
So the final thing we're going to look at here today is this boost function. So what I'm going to do is run through just a completely clean tone and then engage the boost. And you should hear that it gets a bit louder as well as adding a little bit more gain to the signal. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is engage the boost while we're on a high gain channel. So what you'll probably hear with this is a little bit less of a volume boost um, because we're already running through quite a bit of gain on the signal. What the boost function will do is act more like an overdrive pedal has been turned on. So there'll be a little bit more gain added to the signal and that'll make the notes easier to sustain, uh, which is really nice for lead playing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like the content that you've seen here today, then make sure you subscribe because I'm planning on posting some more content like this in the very near future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.